Hey cuties, how y'all doing? Today is Sunday, I believe it's the 25th, around there. Yeah, I believe it's the 25th. We are on our way to get a facial. I'm rushing. I have to be there at 2 o'clock. Y'all, it's 1.58. I'm here, but I got to go upstairs. <laughs> uh, give me one second. Y'all, I was rushing. I ain't putting no lotion on my feet. <laughs> I hope it's not ashy as I think it is. I don't think so. But yeah, we on our way to get a facial. Y'all ain't got no facial in like maybe a year or two. Like, it's crazy. I'm rushing. Y'all, this is how my braids came out. Y'all like it? Hold on. Oh, I need to ask her about this dark spot that my glasses be leaving. But I had the ends curled, but they fell. So, hold on, y'all. I'm walking in there. Do you mind if I record a little bit? Yeah, I'll no okay. Thank you. Okay, you're gonna put a little bit of raise up a bit. Okay. Okay, lift your head up for me. Lay back down. And then if you need to adjust it to make it more comfortable, we'll always do it. Okay? Yes, that's perfect. Thank you. everything but just so that I know what is it that you're currently doing as far as any kind of products routines anything at all for the skin at the moment so all that I do is I do black soap mm -hmm. um, I use noxema I mm -hmm. use coconut oil I use um, shea butter and I use um, witch hazel those mm -hmm. are the only things because my skin is so sensitive, sensitive. Um, yeah and so I also use turmeric soap from time to time mm -hmm. I can do like you know natural things like coconut soap um, things that are super yes okay. yeah um, I'm very like natural and very like lightweight with it mm -hmm. um, I kind of like it I don't I wear makeup but I don't do a lot of makeup um, I do it occasionally and when I do it I try to do like a, a little bit just because my so skin yeah mm -hmm. um, my skin can get pretty like oily 
-hmm. if I apply too much product. So say if I use like serums and stuff like that, I find that it becomes really oily. And so that's why I went to like the coconut oil mm -hmm. and I would have to use like a small amount. Um, if I don't use anything, it'll be dry. Mm -hmm. um, but so I try to keep it like that. I do want to get into sunscreen because I have not been using that. Um, I really get like blackheads in my nose area mm -hmm. um, and in my chin. And so I kind of wanted to do that. Um, and then my glasses, they leave a mark by my nose. Like these lines right here? Yes. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, like, I don't know why it does that, but it's so annoying. Um, but other than that, like, those are not, I don't really have any concerns other than, mm -hmm. like, the dark marks. Most of my bumps, they leave dark marks. Mm -hmm. And so those are really just it, like a, like a really, um, not, like, high perfume, or I guess, like, not a lot of product or chemical. Mm -hmm. Um or just anything that I can use to help reduce those. Okay, so taking a look at the skin, I do see that dryness that's on the surface. When I pull the skin okay. and move it at an angle, I do see buildup on that surface. It's very slight, but it is there. Okay. Do you use anything as far as an exfoliant to kind of help with that at the moment? No, um, I don't really use an exfoliant because mm -hmm. I don't know what to use. That's okay. So sugar scrubs are great if you're looking for something more natural. And okay. then things that have fruit in them like papaya or pineapple okay. is an alternative too. So what we're going to do for you today is we're going to use an enzyme exfoliation. It's very gentle and easy on the skin. Mm -hmm. It's going to remove that buildup that's there, but I'm going to massage it into the skin. So that steam is going to activate the enzymes. Okay. They're going to break down oil congestion on the skin. And then from there, once those enzymes are on the skin, it will help to kind of clear out the excess oil and build up the nose and anything mm -hmm. on the skin. So you'll definitely feel a difference in texture and softness. Okay. Um, that should kind of help to also lighten up some of those dark spots because when they have that buildup on that surface, mm -hmm. sometimes those cells aren't quite moving, so that'll kind of help with that too. Okay. And then once we finish with that exfoliation, we'll do some extractions. Okay. The enzymes are going to make it easier to remove a lot more from the skin. They're okay. going to willingly kind of pop out on their own. Okay. And then from there, once that's done, we'll do a facial massage. Okay. That's just going to help to boost your natural circulation. Okay. It's going to make products absorb a little bit better. And then when it comes time for the mask, we're going to use something that's a little bit more potent than what you're used to, but we're going to diet down with some other things. So we okay. use a little bit of a retinol. Okay. Um, it's a mask, it's a light form of retinol. It's nothing too active or irritating to the skin. Okay. But it does kind of cause the skin to move a little bit better. Works okay. on dark spots, helps with hydration, but we'll go it down with a little bit of a hydrating cotton mask. Okay. That way you can kind of make sure that it's not overpowering on the skin, but you're still getting exactly what you need. Okay? Okay, perfect. So just kind of rest, relax. I'm gonna have the steam on the skin. Okay. We'll massage this exfoliant in and then when we're done, we move on to the next one. Okay. okay. Sound like a plan. Thank you. Okay. You're gonna feel that steam on the skin, just okay. let me know if that's okay for you. Yes, that's okay. If you're wanting something that's going to happen to be too heavy on the skin, um, chemical sunscreens are kind of easier for the skin. Okay. So, uh, physical sunscreens like zinc and magnesium and things like that, so that skin is super heavy and they leave that kind of cast. But I can show you some vitamins on the front of the bed. I'll try to be easy for this one. I'll leave it on you today so you see what it looks like. Okay. is going to come off. I'm going to turn the bright light on and now comes time for the extractions. So you're going to put a little bit of pressure here and there, um, but it's mostly just going to be removing whatever's kind of ready to come out to the surface. Okay. 
This is always the scary part. That's okay. My <laughs> extractions are pretty light. Okay, good. Okay. It's gonna pull all of that out. I'm so excited. Let it wet on the skin. So you don't have to wait till it fully dries, but let it be a little bit wet. That way, when you put your products on top of that, they absorb a little bit better and they spread more evenly on the skin. Okay. So have it like damp, maybe? Mm -hmm. Just a little bit damp on the skin and then just put products right on top of that. You don't have to wait for them to dry on one another. Okay. You can just keep going. Okay. Neck and decollete. Neck, de neck and decollete. It's this area right here. Oh. <laughs> this whole time I've been trying to figure it out.
Feel it if you want to. Texture has softened, things have brightened up, and the condition is a lot better. Mm, so yeah. You'll notice there's not as much buildup on the nose yeah. and things like that. Let me rub that in. So there's not as much buildup on the nose, mm -hmm. and we're seeing a lot more softer texture here and things mm -hmm. like that. That's all that oil has been removed for you. All that buildup has come up. There's still going to be a little bit there, but it's going to naturally push its way out. Okay. So the biggest thing is. Washing the face tonight with no hot water, but warm water is fine. Okay. Conditioning and being gentle. I would say if you're going to exfoliate, probably three days from now would be the safest bet. Okay. And just continue doing this whatever you're doing right now. Okay. But just try to find that exfoliate that works for you. And it takes and some time to find, but I would okay. recommend end that exfoliation. Okay. And you said the sugar scrub. So I'm sorry. <laughs> so the sugar scrub. Um, the sugar scrub. Can I? I do like um, brown sugar. Mm -hmm. um, honey and mm -hmm. coconut oil like from my lips and I might put a little lemon in there mm -hmm. like say if I ran out of scrub I'll use that mm -hmm. and for like you know her <laughs> so can I use that for my face only thing I would say do not put in there is the lemon the lemon the okay. a little bit too acidic for the surface of the skin so okay. it might cause reactions okay. but that's fine and perfectly okay. good to use I would just say gentle circular motions with it you could okay. do it in the shower so that the seam, seam softens up any okay. oils and debris and kind of brings it up for you okay. but something like that two to three times a week. Mm -hmm.